Hi and welcome once again to one of my vlogs on YouTube about my ongoing bowel cancer treatment. It's been an eventful month. Um, many of you who are friends with me on Facebook might have seen Angela and me on the one show when I surprised her. Now, they asked on the Monday if anyone could write in if they felt someone deserved a special thank you. And I'd done that because basically my wife's waiting for some serious operations and on top of that with me falling seriously ill in the June of this year... I just felt she deserved the surprise and it was a brilliant day. BBC paid for us to travel down to London. They also um, paid, picked us up from Euston Station and dropped us back there. And we had a, a brilliant time really. Food cooked by Aldo Zilli and Jean-Christophe Novelli. As well as Alan Carr um, announcing who the special surprise was. Which made Angela's day because she absolutely adores him. And we met him after the show and he was a perfect gent. He really was. It was such a special day. And she fully deserves the praise and credit she gets. Because she really is helping me through this. As I'm getting slowly but surely stronger in between the chemo cycles. The chemo has kicked my backside a little bit this time. Um, the sensation of reacting to the cold has been really really bad this time and has actually lasted a lot longer than previous cycles but i'm heading towards halfway through now i'm on my fourth cycle of fall fox there's actually 11 in total but it's my fifth chemotherapy cycle overall my next one's obviously the sixth cycle so that's the halfway stage so the end is getting closer um i've had appointments with um, a specialist at clatterbridge and also the colorectal nurse from Clatterbridge actually did give me a ring and we just talked through a few things and that's the important thing if you've got any concerns don't clam up about it always speak to the specialist or the colorectal nurses you know they can guide you through and see what is the best option for you and I've had advice because basically after the treatment I do feel really really sickly I don't physically be sick all that much but They've just given me some advice now, which was basically start taking my anti-sickness pills again the days before my treatment. And it should make a big difference to how I feel once I've had the treatment. So I'll try that obviously next chemo cycle. But all in all, I'm definitely feeling a lot better, though bizarrely I've noticed all my nasal hair has fell out. I've not lost any of the hair I've got left on the, on my head. You're obviously quite bald on top, but the back and sides, there is quite a bit of hair there. It's just gone very, very wiry and thin though. So there's still a chance that might fall out, but that doesn't bother me as long as I am getting better. And obviously that finishing line in mid-January is getting ever so close. And that's what I'm really looking forward to. Just that normality of being able to do stuff and not worry about you know, is it going to affect my next chemo and so forth? And, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I also went to watch Man City midweek, which was such a nice change because in 90 minutes, I didn't have to worry about being a cancer patient, screaming and shouting at the ref because I thought he had an atrocious game. <laughs> but it was just nice for that normality. <clears throat> and that's the key thing they always do say. Try and keep it as normal as you possibly can. But obviously, I've got to be careful because limiting my people contact because... I'm so prone to infection because the chemotherapy does destroy your immune system. So, yeah, you've got to keep doing what you normally do, but limit that. But I'll get there. And I hope you enjoy this vlog. And if you do, just give it a thumbs up or if you can share it, even better. Thank you.